not my usual hello, right. Hello and welcome to Katie Picks. What's Katie Picks all about? Happy tummies in half the time. It's written in at least three places on this channel. And for that reason, we have partnered up, partnered? Partnered up with the Saucy Fish Co and their brand new frozen range to bring you this week's recipe. So we are cooking a warm kale and bean salad, which sounds delicious. And that's gonna go beautifully with their haddock fish cakes with a vintage cheddar center. So if that sounds like something that you wanna see, then stay tuned. And then we'll select this one. Okay, so this is enough for two people to enjoy a delicious dinner together. So with their dishes, just like this fish cake, you're gonna pop it in the oven and job's done. Then you make it a balanced meal by adding all your tasty veg. I mean, it's fish without the fuss. And fish is really good for us. In fact, we should be eating two portions a week. And cooking from frozen can often help reduce food waste too. I mean, frozen just got cooler. So these are gonna go into your oven at 200 degrees for 30 minutes. So let's crack on with making our delicious veg side dish, a warm kale and bean salad, yum. So we're gonna kick things off by popping a frying pan onto the nice, onto the nice, it's so nice, onto a nice high heat. And to that, we're gonna add in just a drizzle of olive oil. And I've got one rasher of smoked streaky bacon. I've just finely sliced. Oh, I love that sizzle. Sizzly bacon. With 20 grams of blanched hazelnut. Now what you're looking for is for your bacon to go gorgeously golden and crispy. Once you've got a nice bit of colour on that, we're going to drop the heat off and we're going to add in half a teaspoon of maple syrup. So a little measurements here. Nice, nice, nice. You can also use honey. But just maple syrup. Is that a good enough reason to use something? Just love it. I think so. Next step then is to do our greens. So I've got a pan of boiling water on the hob, ready to go. Then I'm gonna add 100 grams of fine green beans. So just give them a tap down, stack them up, and then you're just gonna nip off the end. So whilst those are in there for the four minutes, we're gonna prepare our spring greens. So as you can imagine, you've got a little bit of naughtiness here from your bacon and maple syrup. You've got so much nutritional goodness and balanced out with those fish cakes. This one is a good one for you guys. So I've got 50 grams of kale, I've got 50 grams of cavolo nero, and 50 grams of chard so I'm just going to prep these now because the um, the stalks on these are a little bit tough I'm just going to shred the leaves from the stalks and then again with the chard just going to run your knife down the side of the stem and just pop it out like so at the four minute mark they're going to go into the pan as well I am just going to very roughly chop them into thirds I still want to keep a lovely rough textured salad so it's been four minutes so then these are going to go into the pan as well with our kale we're going to pop a lid on and then we're just going to cook those through for about two minutes until all your greens have softened Look nicely lovely nicely everything's nice that's my go-to word be more adventurous kate wonderful okay so we're going to now make a dressing that we're going to toss our leaves through so i'm going to grab myself a bowl and to that oh, i don't know oh, i got distracted by the bacon and to this we're going to add just under a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil same again of sherry vinegar just under a tablespoon oh i breathed in quite deeply then that was nice though i'm not complaining then we're going to add in some salt and pepper. I'm just going to take a generous pinch of each. Give it a little mix. And then our greens are ready to drain. Okay, so those are all drained and then going to go straight into that gorgeous dressing. Okay, and then we're going to just toss it all around, get it coated. So at this point, give it a little taste, check for seasoning. And then we're going to use our gorgeous hazelnuts and bacon just to scatter over the top once we've plated up. So all that's left to do now is to get our gorgeous oozy scented fish cakes out of the oven and plate up. So there you have it. Freezer to fork in just 30 minutes and now it's time for the big reveal. Oh god, I'm so excited. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's good. Let's get a little bit of that in there. Oh, that gorgeously fluffy mash with the smoked haddock, that vintage cheddar, and that gorgeous vinegar running through the dressing that just wakes up your palate. That is absolutely delicious. You're coming in and dropping right out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I'm kidding. 
kidding. <laughs> I hope you liked that. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to know more about the Saucy Fish Co., then make sure you click those links in the description box below. Until next time, bye!